Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. Uh, if you haven't checked out uh, yet, it's not bad idea. Go with this uh, four, actually five strain. Another is right ventricle free wire strain. Go to the channel and check them out. And another thing is that uh, in EPIC, we have two uh, software for speckle strain. One of them is ACMQ, automated uh, cardiac myocardial quantification. Another is automated uh, strain. The ACMQ, I explain nobology on this lecture. So I'm not going to talk about ACMQ on this uh, presentation. You have to go check it out. On this one, I am going to just talk about how we do automated spec strain. Now let's do it. Here we can see the ACMQ, uh, that uh, modality, so, uh, some machine they install, some machine they don't, depending on your facility. Anyway, we are not uh, going to talk about ACMQ. Uh, here, just auto strain. The most important principle for performing speculative strain is that we get it all those uh, three in the here just global longitudinal those uh, three we use in apical including apical four three and two they should be the same setup means sector width depth and all other frame rate should be for all those three the same and it's better we get it in their row next to each other because bit to bits can different uh, and so if we can get it next to each other much better and for the heart rate regular heart rate without tachycardia we can we have to capture at least three bits at least two bits but three bits is better if we have arrhythmia or afib is better with uh, captured five bits when you capture this views we have to remember ask patient hold his or her breath during capturing that heart doesn't move around otherwise machine cannot trace very well the myocardium or endocardium after we capture those uh, three view we with the trackball here with trackball, we move to those three view. When is highlight with the selecting on the uh, selecting button left or right on the box, we highlighted and selected those uh, three. When we selected all those three, we click on one of them. It's better we start with the uh, apical tree. Click on one of those three view, and when you click on those uh, one of them on the monitor, that image show up then on uh, you press measurement bottom measurement here you press it and on the control uh, on the touch screen it showed these options that the option we needed is auto strain lv here we click this one and machine start analyzing those uh, three because we highlight them analyze all three of those and it show us the global longitudinal strain. Let's see how it looks like. After you uh, hit the auto strain, machine show you this uh, view. On monitor, you can see tracing all those uh, three views, uh, labeling each views. Make sure the label is correct. Apical four to three and eyeball. So, so the four box uh, format it show you and finally all those results as you can see here let's go one by one uh, what is option uh, we have here first of all when you uh, uh, machine start and showing a strain you have to for each view check it if the machine uh, trace here in the cardium or middle of the myocardium is tracing myocardium during systolic and diastolic or not each segment second those location of the uh, 
uh, starting is correct or not. It should be exactly at the annulus of the mitral valve here, apical tree, not including LVOT. So a little one centimeter uh, far from the aortic ring for the apical tree. That is, and you can see the global uh, uh, bull eyes for a strain and for the time to pick that for the synchrony, uh, checking the synchrony is very useful. If it's tracing the myocardium and endocardium is not correct or completely off, we have two options for fixing uh, this uh, problem. On the left side of the monitor, you can see those options we have it. One of the options, as you can see here, is label. Labeling, it labels those uh, three view. Body markers show with each of them. Make sure that this machine select correct way. Label apical four chamber, two chamber, and three. And if it's completely off in those uh, tracing, we can come uh, under edit counters. We have three options, as you can see, four, two, three. If we move trackball here, it should highlight. We can select with the select button next to the trackball, and it del delete uh, whatever we selected here, for example, apical four, and then machine give you this option. Okay, this is your apical four. You want to trace uh, and mark those uh, three spots. First, you have to go medial one two three so we have to go first select medial then lateral on the loose here medial select with the selective bottom next to the trackball then move trackball to the lateral then select and finally uh, move trackball to the apex and select it's so those three spot has been selected then you press analyzes at the bottom here the start machine analyze and show the tracing during cardiac cycle and if still we have in other view uh, the same completely off we can uh, correct on the apical two and apical three it's dependent how much is off uh, if no the tracing is okay just some segment we need adjust machine cannot trace very well during the diastole and systole we click this box file box and machine show us those three view at two level of the diastole and systole here you can see diastole and systole for each of those view in that case with trackball and selective bottom you can move any to any time diastole or systole if it's not dependent on movement you can see for example apical two at the base anterior not tracing very well Okay, continue. We go trackball and select with the select button on nested trackball, and then with trackball we move it in, out, whatever we want. Any spot, those circle, we can change it just by trackball and selecting bottom. Then, when we are uh, satisfied with the location during the hostel and systole, and we know, okay, machine now uh, trace very well. Then we hit the analyze and machine start again analyze and show our strain in each of those spot and global longitudinal strain. That is one way for uh, uh, correcting uh, tracking tissue. Another one is using S and D for the uh, fixing uh, those spot and segment that machine cannot uh, trace very well another way for adjusting the uh, segment that machine cannot uh, trace very well is using s and d in the cardiac phase this uh, cardiac phase is on the home page of the auto strain when we click auto strain machine show this one when you select the other option if you are not sure where is the home page, just click at this bottom left two arrow. It shows the uh, arrow to the left. 
just click that one it finally go to the home page this view you can see s and d here let me show it come here i will show you s and d s systolic d diastolic with track ball we move to each of them for example on diastole d click select press one of those selective then we track ball move it any segment we want with holding the key center a key select selection and track ball each segment we can move it uh, left right uh, out in up each of those segments then when we are satisfied with the hostel we go for system click on system then go machine show the frame at that systolic time then adjust what which each segment that you win you think is off when you are satisfied then click uh, analyzing and you see uh, that the cardiac cycle if is that tracing at during systole and the hostel is correct or not then repeat it until you satisfy completely with tracing and tracking in home page of the display auto strain as you can see here we have uh, three options here one of them is this curve strain rate if we moved our trackball over here it become highlight it show okay this is a strain rate and uh, if we click on that select the bottom uh, machine starts showing uh, that uh, strain rate for that uh, view and if we click on this one it show strain strain curve as you can see and if we press uh, this uh, bull's eyes machine give us bull's eyes in the fourth uh, box because it represent four box three up those view and the other result at the bottom one In home page of the auto strain there is a sign i sign if you press on that machine show those uh, strain for each segment and uh, global longitudinal when you are satisfied at the end you have to ask, uh, highlight it with the select button on next to the trackball and then uh, you acquire here it looks like that after you uh, pressing that i sign it show those numbers for each segment and global and bull's eyes and everything on the result we have a uh, two option one of them is left ventricular lens on each of those uh, view that we have it apical four and apical two they should be very close to each other otherwise one of them is off axis as not correct so they are should be very close as you can see the major axis of the apical 4 is 88 and apical 2 89 very close millimeter one millimeter differences and during systole as you can see are the same so it means those images are good they are, none of them is off axis reliable about the view and at least the length of the left ventricle another is global and it here show when you press on global highlight it and it show uh, long axis and another global longitudinal strain here endo means the machine this machine has trace based on the endocardium you know that i talk about that we have different level and different layer of the myocardium endo mid and epi each of them has different strain and nowadays many machines and software vendor they uh, make uh, they show uh, exactly what level of the myocardium has been traced some machines show all those three you have option endo show with endo show mid and show epi and give the number those are for this those uh, three wall uh, three views apical four apical two and apical three and finally give us 
global longitudinal for average this minus for example this case is minus uh, 6.9% so those are result and we have to always uh, correspond those result with uh, whatever you saw on the each of those view and even each segment is important and correspond with the contractility in the 2d if it does make sense or not you should accept it or reject it and don't take it uh, for the result i forgot to mention and i want to emphasize that uh, until uh, we have a standard uh, speckle strain we always in report we have to mention what is the uh, references for the our global longitudinal strain if it's endocardio we have to put endo global longitudinal mid or epi as i mentioned some machine separate and give each of those uh, strain uh, we have to wait because for follow-up the most important for those patients we do is strain is follow-up especially in those cases with the chemotherapy the follow-up should be with the, the same vendor and almost the same machine with the same setup so that is important when you interpret the strain you have to look at all those parameters and beside of that you have to remember that heart rate and the general stroke volume all the venous system return all those uh, parameters can affect a little maybe two to five percent the uh, global longitudinal strain and another important is that we for evaluation of the patient situation we shouldn't just rely on the global longitudinal we have to check all those segment strain see each each segment has been changed or not and is better we put everything together with the radial and circumferential and rotational all together and we make decision for management of the patient we are done up to the next time have a wonderful time and if you like it, please share it.